Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I wanted to share with you some items that I've purchased recently from Napoleon. So many of you have heard of Napoleon Purtis. He's an Australian makeup artist and he is marketing, I think, all around the world. I definitely know I saw him in the USA. He has two different lines. He's got a line called Napoleon Purtis or NP Set and he markets those sort of in the lower price range. The set range is available in Target in the USA as well as Targets here in Australia. I'm not sure about the UK, Asia, elsewhere, but I have a feeling that he's pretty, you know, widespread around the world these days. I went to David Jones to uh, look at some items from his latest from the Nude Bar. I'm gearing up for a swap with Sunny in Paris and she mentioned that she liked some items from the looks of it from his Nude Bar range. So I went to check it out when I was in Sydney at the David Jones store recently and had a ball of a time. Raja was the Napoleon makeup artist that I spoke with there so I'll just show you what I got and I'll talk about them as we go at the end is a little uh, application so from scratch I show you you know the face base that I'm wearing today as well as how I got this look using products from this purchase here and uh, hope that you enjoy it so the first few items that I got as soon as I saw the fact that Napoleon has a fantastic gift set available if you spend $69 or more I was ready to uh, look at buying a few items I've been looking at for a while the first item that I picked up, and this is his foundation, the Sheer Genius Liquid Foundation. It's an SPF 22, and it's actually a more opaque coverage, so I was quite confused. A viewer had recommended that I try the Sheer Genius Foundation through the YouTube channel recently. With a name like Sheer Genius, you would expect not a full coverage foundation. So um, he did actually apply this one on me in the store. I'm not wearing it today, but it's a medium to full buildable coverage foundation from what I could tell when he applied it. I'm yet to play with this at home, but he matched me to the color Look 3. The next item I bought was one that I got a sample of when I subscribed to InStyle last year. It just was not the same as the samples in the store and the product that they sell in the store. It was a much lighter sort of highlighter. This is called the Napoleon Blush Patrol and it's very similar to you know any of those sort of mineral marbleized colors. So like your MAC mineralized skin finishes. This is what it looks like all marbled and baked into a dome and I do have swatches that's how it looks on my finger it definitely does kick off some shimmer but just really nice it would be really nice in the summer with a nice um, you know bronzy tan you could use that on your eyes even on your lips it's a lot more of a rosier color than the one that I was sent from in style magazine for free the other couple of items that I picked up were all from the Nude Bar line. They offer, I think, about four different nude coloured lip glosses. They have three different lipsticks, I believe, a couple different uh, shades, a light and a dark of a tinted moisturiser, and a nude lip palette, you know, the ones that he has with the cream and the powder. He's got a red one out. So I'll show you what I picked up. The first item that I picked up is the Off Duty Tinted Moisturiser, and that's what I'm wearing today. I haven't covered it in powder. It's amazing the way it uh, smooths out my skin tone despite my hyperpigmentation and freckles. I really like this product a lot. I've used it a couple of times now. It comes in two shades, I think light to medium and medium to dark. The medium to dark definitely has a bronzy tan to it and I would wear that in the summer but I think it's just too dark for my skin tone right now in the winter here in Australia. So I got this one in the light to medium and I think it suits my skin tone quite nicely. It's beautiful packaging, nice and light, plastic with a pump. I don't think it's too shimmery or, or glowy, just really nice and natural and uh, really nice sort of buildable coverage, but definitely you're getting a light coverage, light to medium. I, again, I'm amazed how well it evens out my skin tone for such a light, light product, tinted moisturizer. And this can also double as a primer under foundation. So just to help your foundation last longer and to go on nice and smooth. So you can wear it alone or under foundation is how they market this product. Next product I bought was one of the colors. This is the, so the official name is the Double Agent Nude Lip Palette. And they do have, as I said, a red version of this available uh, in their permanent line. It does come with a nice little mirror there on top. And you can see there the two colors. So we've got the cream color 
and the powder color. You can wear the cream on its own, it's very sheer, or you can top it with a uh, powder just to get more of a matte look. It's the powder that I'm wearing right now, but I show what both of them look like in the tutorial that I'm popping at the end of this. So Napoleon does also mention on the back of his packaging, which is beautiful by the way, just lovely, lined, gorgeous, enriched with vitamin E and canorba wax to ensure a smooth application, while the pressed lip powder boasts vitamin C to protect and nourish the lips. Proudly paraben free. It's a multitasking marvel and he gives a pro tip here on the back that the cream makes a great base for blush to hold and intensify color and the mattifying powder can also be used as a contouring powder to further define the cheeks. And that's what I'm wearing today actually. So this from the, the lip palette. I am wearing the cream and I show you in the demonstration at the end how the cream looks when you just apply that alone to your cheeks and then how it looks topped with the powder. I did put a tiny bit of blush patrol over all of that since I filmed the demonstration but in the demonstration you see what it looks like with just the cream and the matte from that lip palette. So I did also pick up a lip colour from the Nude Bar range. They call these the Divine Goddess lipsticks and I got this in the colour Demeter and that's a Greek goddess of fertility or something like that I think. <laughs> Raja at the Napoleon Bar was telling me all about it and uh, he said definitely this would be the one that he recommended for me. That's what Demeter looks like there on my hand. I have taken some still shots of this against a few different MAC lipstick colours so that you can pair um, you know what that nude is like. I'm not wearing that right now but it is a really lovely nude that I'm looking forward to wearing more. Now onto the free products that came. So they give you as a free gift set when you spend $69 or more a carrying bag. It's got two big pockets here. It's just this one grey colour choice. Two big pockets. Inside we've got a nice pretty aqua lining and it's got a one zip pocket on the inside. So the first thing as part of the free gift is a skinny latte nail polish. It's a really nice nude color there. If you have tried any of these products, do comment down below because I'd find that helpful and probably so would a lot of the viewers. Another Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer. I have used this. I do have another large tester like this. It's lasted me ages. I do really like it. Next part of the free gift is a sample of the she Sheer Genius Liquid Foundation. This is in Look 3. I'm not sure if this is customizable, if you can choose it or if they all come with Look 3. So what it says about Sheer Genius on the back is to boost your makeup intelligence with Sheer Genius. At the heart of the formula is an exceptional hydrogel technology that minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles yet creates a weightless veil of luminous coverage. Sheer Genius is enriched with active ingredients that boost skin elasticity and moisture and skin appears polished and perfected even under the most intense high definition technology recommended for all skin types. So again, looking forward to giving that a try. Another couple of items here. It's just a great value gift set. So I wanted to get this video up right away for you guys. They've got a little travel size of the Napoleon Mascara. This is the long black mascara in double black. I do talk about this a little bit in the demonstration. Also, you get an eyeshadow palette in this free gift set. This is called the Prismatic Eyeshadow Quad in the number 13. Really nice neutral colors that I would imagine anyone would be happy with. Again, just like the lip palette, you have a nice little round mirror in the top of that um, palette. And then these are the four colors here. And I do swatch stills of the swatches here in this video as well. And this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So they are really nice. They're not the creamiest of eyeshadows. They're definitely pigmented. They are a bit chalky, so you could tap a really soft brush into those and you're kicking up quite a bit of powder. So that's my feedback on that, but I do really like the colors. It's a nice quad. These pigment rich blendable colors range from sparkle to shimmer and metallic to matte, allowing for endless combinations, ideal for wet or dry application. This is what I'm wearing today. And I am also wearing this light shade, which is a bit shimmery as a highlight after I put the powder, that matte powder blush over the cream blush. I did use with a fluffy brush, some of that eyeshadow as a highlight today. And then lastly, as part of the free gift is the Double Agent Rouge Lip Palette. And this is the palette that I have seen before in the stores. I think this comes out sort of quite pink, but again, you've got a nice red cream color that you can wear on its own as a lip or a cheap product. And then you've got this matte color just to help matte it down and make it last a little bit longer as well. I have not tried this red one on my lips yet. 
so looking forward to seeing you know whether I actually like it or not then um, because I spent over 120 they actually included another free gift so this is this sort of add-on free gift but it's an autopilot pore minimizer and mattifier so when you spend 120 or more at the moment you get that whole bag of free gifts and then you also get this full size pore minimizer and mattifier as well. So this would be like the Benefit Pore Professional, the toothpaste Perfect and Poreless or whatever it is, all those different um, products that you use to help fill in the pores and provide a nice matte finish. So that is it. Stay tuned for the demonstration of a lot of these products and get into Napoleon if you like the look of that gift set. It's fantastic value. I'm not sure how long it lasts. It doesn't look like it's available on the online store. I think on the online store though if you are interested in online shopping with Napoleon they are offering free shipping for purchases of $75 or more but I do not see this free gift set being offered at their online store so this may be David Jones exclusive not sure but wanted to let you know about it so that you can if you are interested you can race off and take advantage of that excellent value deal. First product that I'm going to be using is Napoleon's Off Duty Tinted Moisturizer. I'm going to be wearing this one alone today just to show you coverage. You can see obviously my freckling, some hyperpigmentation here on my face and this is just going to help even it out and give me a nice radiance throughout the day. So it's nice light plastic packaging. It does come with a pump. I'll just show you how that comes out. That is one squeeze of the pump there. Just going to use my hands to blend it out. Okay, now there are spots that I would probably like a little bit more coverage on my face, so I'll just grab a little bit more from my hand and just dab it over. I did find this to be a little bit buildable, even though it's sort of sheer. Um, you can see it does still have some pigmentation in it and you can just build it a little bit over those areas. Next I'm just using a really old pencil from Sephora, like the Benefit Eye Bright, just under my eyes to help brighten up that area. Followed by some Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. This is the one in Neutralizer. Now I'm using the Prismatic Eye Quad number 13. I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush just to give a wash all over the lid from lash line to brow with this light colour. Next I'm going into this second lightest colour. I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. I'm using a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Really pretty gold gold colour, a bit of shimmer. Next I'm using a nice tapered fluffy uh, mint brush. This is the number 20 brush and I'm going to be going into that sort of reddish second darker shade here just around the crease. Just using a short shader from Sigma, this is their number E20, just to press some of that same shade on the lower lash line. And I'm just going to turn it over and use the other side to pick up some of that very lightest colour in the quad, just to pop on the inner half. I'm using Savvy by DB's Luxury Liner. This one is in a brilliant bronze, just to line the upper and lower lash line and into the waterline as well. Then I'm going into that darkest colour on the quad here with again that short shader from Sigma and I'm going to press this in over the eye pencil that I've just placed on the upper and lower lash line and waterline. With lining all done I'm going to use the Napoleon Long Black Mascara that came with the gift set. Keep in mind that this is the first time that I've used this product. It hasn't undergone, you know, that seasoning that it does over the first couple of weeks after being opened and exposed to oxygen. So it may come out, you know, a little different to how it normally does. So just taking the brush out for the very first time, it is bent just for easier application, I'm sure. It's one of those traditional type brushes, so we should get some nice separation and hopefully some volume from that. 
Okay, so this is after two coats of that mascara. A couple of first impressions there. This is a tester first of all. It's a very dry application, so it's not a wet, clumpy type application like your, you know, Benefit Their Real or your Cover Girls. They're like a wet formula, which can clump. You use the brush, obviously, to comb that out. This is a lot drier of an application, really not prone to clumping at all, and the brush does a great job of just getting a hold of your lashes and combing through sort of the definition. So the result is uh, a lot more of a natural type lash than a really thick clumpy lash, but I definitely get volume and length out of that. My initial concern would be how long does this last if it's already quite dry on application. If you have experience with this mascara, I'd love to hear from you. Please do comment down below. Now this is the Double Agent Nude Lip Palette from the Nude Bar. Now I'm going to use the powder section of the palette. I've just filled in my eyebrows using an e.l.f. kit and then lastly I'm going to be using the Double Agent Nude Lip Palette now for my lips. So I'll use both products just so you can see how they work together but you do have the option of just using the cream and leaving it at that or topping with the powder for a more matte look that's going to last a little bit longer. So I'll do the cream first. It's quite a sheer product. You're not getting a whole lot of, you know, opaque coverage. So you can see this here is the coverage of the cream. It's very, very sheer. I love the brush. The stiffness, the density, the squareness of the brush is fantastic. But um, with this kind of shade, I really reckon you could just go in on the road and, you know, just use your finger. Because it's so sheer, I just don't think that you need a brush to apply this one. Then I'll use the other brush to pick up the powders. So that's added probably just a little bit more depth to that colour. Quite comfortable on the lips, it doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel like a lipstick. I can feel that something is on there though, uh, and it's quite matte, not sticky at all. The very last thing that I'm going to do is just use some of this shimmery white just above my uh, cheeks. I obviously put that powder over the cream blush and I'm trying to go for a more glowy look. I'm not setting that tinted moisturizer with anything so I just want to make sure that I don't sort of have these matte cheeks and glowy face for the rest of the day. So I'm just using that first brush that I use to apply this all over my uh, lid with that same color and I'm just going along the very top just very lightly just to add in that little bit of glow. It's a really nice colour actually for a, a highlighter too. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this look from Napoleon's Nude Bar line. I'm really enjoying these products so far. That tinted moisturiser especially just goes on beautifully, buildable, and I'm amazed how naturally luminous it makes my skin look despite the fact that I'm used to medium to full coverage foundations really pleased with the finish, the coverage and how that wears throughout the day. I really like that eye palette. The colours are really pretty. You could do certainly several different looks with that, with that nice uh, light colour that's fantastic for the lid, for all over the eye and then even as you saw as a highlight on the face. The mascara I do really really like as long as that does last for the full size tube and then I do really like that nude bar lip palette. I think it's just a really nice subtle colour on the cheeks. Certainly keeping that nude natural look alive and then on the lips it's just a great nice versatile product so uh, I think I definitely give my thumbs up to that nude uh, bar range I am quite impressed hope that you enjoyed watching it so thank you so much for watching that is it hope you have a beautiful day and if you have used any of these products or have any questions or any comments at all definitely do comment down below I love to hear from you so hope you have a beautiful day and we'll see you all again really really soon bye